Explain like I'm five how does single-use plastic get from my garbage bin into the ocean? I just watched a documentary about single-use plastics and the narrative is always about such plastics ending up in oceans killing sea animals. But it didn't explain how that actually happens. Assuming no littering or improper waste disposal on a large scale. How does the plastic get into the ocean? When a person e.g. in Japan or other developed country throws a single-use bottle or plastic packaging into their home garbage bin. I understand that burning plastic garbage or keeping it in a landfill indefinitely is problematic. 2. So I am not advocating for single-use plastic. But I would like to understand if there is actually a connection between someone throwing their plastic bottle into the non-recyclable garbage bin and plastic ending up being eaten by sea animals. Or if all the ocean plastic actually comes from littering and countries that don't do proper waste disposal and the single-use plastic leads to animals dying from getting tangled up in or eating. Plastic packaging narrative is just being used because it makes for a better headline than burning plastic causes air pollution and wastes precious resources. Indonesia is a huge source of plastic waste. With no collection or recycling centers it ends up in gutters and then rivers which run to the sea. This scenario is very common around the world. China and India, at least, dump directly into their rivers. Endless evidence of it. For Western or developed nations it's likely a FAAAR lower percent of ocean plastic er. Excluding where we sold our trash to poor countries. Which is why I always found the fight against plastic straws insane. It isn't Australian citizens' use of plastic straws that's impacting turtles. 90 of plastic in the ocean comes just from 10 rivers in Asia Africa. Your plastic will probably be burned stored in landfill. Unless something has gone wrong it shouldn't. The problem comes from improperly disposed plastics. If you're a arse and just chuck a bottle top on the pavement what can happen is rain washes it into a sewer if the city doesn't have good enough treatment or there is a lot of rain it gets discharged into a river and eventually into the ocean. It's places that don't have a well-regulated garbage industry that are the problem. Where a company is corrupt and instead of properly disposing of waste, they just dump it into rivers or directly into the sea. Recycling plastic is a scam. No one wants it. Manufacturers and governments know this. If recycling plastic was profitable, recycling plastics would happen in every major center. It doesn't. It gets sold to some scammer who dumps it in the ocean. Government and manufacturers also know this. If you live in a first world country then no. Your straws and the like don't end up in the ocean. Or at least it's rare. Funny how so many people fell or the all by our new shiny metal straws so that your plastic straws don't end up in a turtle's nose marketing scheme. Absolutely swindled. These companies never cared about the turtles. They just capitalized on a movement. You can see how the whole thing faded away just as quickly as it started. Among other reasons. Sheer geography. Sea level is the lowest point in most places. So anything on land that is blown by the wind or gets into a river will move downhill and often eventually end up in the ocean. This might be onesie twosies in the US. But with over 300 million people, that's a lot of plastic bags over the course of a year. Consider the fate of the cigarette filter. A couple decades ago, it was estimated that two billion pounds of filters were discarded each year. Some pretty high proportion of those were litter. People seem to discount them because they are small. Or assume they are cotton and will biodegrade. 
they are plastic. It's mostly that we outsource our recycle garbage to undeveloped countries who have no qualms with dumping it in their rivers and those rivers take it out to the ocean. Domestic garbage usually stays in landfills. Even recycling winds up there. Only like 3-5 of recycled plastic actually gets recycled. The shitty thing is a lot of it gets released into the environment from shredding facilities. Attempting to recycle it. From an NPR story a few days ago. I suspect we would be better off just not pretending that we can recycle plastic and leave it in. The land fills. UK we have two refuse bins one for landfill. One for recycling. If this ocean business keeps on. I'm gonna throw everything in the landfill. It doesn't. It's said like that so that we should feel guilty. As I'm informed. Most plastic waste is from industrial scale fishing nets. Floater etc. In North America at least. We have so much open land that a landfill is an incredibly easy and efficient way to deal with waste. Pisses me off that I have to use a paper straw when I know that the plastic one has no chance of ending up in the ocean. When we throw single-use plastic in the garbage bin, it gets collected and taken to a landfill. Sometimes, if the garbage isn't managed properly, it can end up in rivers or oceans. Wind or rain can carry the plastic from the landfill into nearby waterways. And eventually, it can make its way to the ocean. Coastal cities. People don't use proper waste disposal and then rain happens. The stuff on the ground then gets washed into drainage ditches. Water carries it downhill until there are no more hills. Isn't there a sea of plastic bottles near Ghana? I think you are viewing it from the point of view of somebody who never litters. Here in Australia a lot of the bushes on the sides of the roads used to have a damn bag stuck in them. If you drove past a country tip on a windy day the bags were like tumbleweeds. Primarily it gets swept away by water then taken by rivers all the way to the ocean. In most developed countries, this doesn't really happen. The US and Europe effectively get plastic into landfills. A huge chunk of plastic waste that ends up in the ocean comes from Southeast Asia the Philippines. Alone is responsible for over one-three of the global plastic in the ocean. Outside of single-use plastics. Fishing waste is a pretty significant chunk of ocean plastic as well. It's not the one in your garbage as that goes to a landfill. At least in the US. It likely people just littering and it works its way to the storm drains and then the oceans. I recently saw a person while I was on the highway just throw a bunch of trash out. Man facepalming medium skin tone I was shocked as I didn't think people just throw trash intentionally onto the ground. Those documentaries are bullshit. About half of all plastic in the ocean is from used fishing nets. And a large percentage of the rest is fishing gear. Fishing is killing our ocean. Not straws. Any piece of litter you see in the streets gets carried off to the sewers and straight into your local body of water like a river and that eventually goes to the ocean. When we were in Myanmar, the garbage truck would back up to the river and unload. It hit the ocean eventually. In a lot of Shea Asia or India if it rains the rivers quickly look like the trash compactor scene. From Star Wars. Except it keeps rushing by you at 30 kilometers per hour and never stops. It's starting to change slowly however. Some countries, instead of using a landfill, they use the of sight out of.